brand new vlog it's a brand new school week happy Monday or at least for me it's Monday today I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along for a bit of a school week in my life vlogging like we're on FaceTime just like a very chilled vlog I want to get into the swing of vlogging more regularly this month as we've just entered August which is literally wild how are we already eight months into the year I feel like I can't even speak right now because it's literally 6 a.m. and I just woke up even though I did my skincare and stuff my brain is still on defrost mode but you know what to do if you enjoy videos like this or this vlog give it a big thumbs up subscribe all my social medias are in the description box if you want to keep up with my everyday life every day and this week I really want to focus on just enjoying every single day enjoying the journey focusing a lot on my stress levels because I noticed like my skin started to break out a bit towards the end of last week which never happens and I feel like it was because I just felt very stressed and I wasn't doing those little things that keep me calm that I usually do so I want to stay on top of that this week and my other goal is to make sure I'm just journaling and having a really good week in general I just want to really really enjoy this week if I hadn't already said it so let's jump into it just finished all my little morning rituals. I did a little bit of yoga and a meditation just to go along with my intention for this week of distressing and just not feeling stressed. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like I've let go of all those negative thoughts and beliefs before going into the week ahead. Yesterday I did my whole Sunday reset and like cleaned my room, charged everything, just relaxed and it was totally what I needed. So I feel completely back at zero and like I can just have a fresh start this week which feels so lovely there's literally no better way to start the week I feel like when I talk or vlog I always get ahead of myself when I'm speaking and then my words get all jumbled up and I have to restart like five times you guys don't see that because I edit these vlogs but honestly if you looked at the footage behind the scenes it's just chaos anyway I'm going to get into my makeup and hair now I really want to keep my makeup and hair pretty natural this week because as I said earlier I've just noticed my skin's been very affected by just like my emotions and stuff lately so I want to make sure that I'm taking care of it externally as well rather than like piling on makeup or anything not that I wear a lot anyway but just being a bit more mindful about it I've just put in a bit of tinted eyebrow gel but then I remembered to turn on the camera and vlog to you guys but now I think I'm just going to do some mascara and maybe some blush I love blush I feel like if you just use blush your face looks so uplifted but it's only one product which is super great and I also want to try a new hair style which I saw a YouTuber wear yesterday and I loved it so much although it was one of those moments where you know when you see a cute hairstyle on like a Sunday and you're like yes I'm gonna do that hairstyle tomorrow for the beginning of the school week and then you try it that Monday and it doesn't work as well as it did the day before when you didn't have to go anywhere fingers crossed that doesn't happen because it was the cutest hairstyle I feel like I need to get some more hair clips to actually do it but if it turns out well today I'll invest in some speaking of investing in things I have a Kmart order coming in the mail hopefully in the next couple days so hopefully we can unbox that in this vlog together Monday nights are my big days bit of Monday motivation for you guys school and then I've got dance tonight and then in between I want to edit a couple reels for my Instagram it was really cool on the weekend I got invited to try a new gluten-free dessert place and it was so cool I went in there and they gave me free gluten-free frozen yogurt sort of like Yochi but I haven't been able to try it because it's not gluten and free and I have celiac disease and it was so cool it was sort of like the first thing that I've ever been invited to and it was so delicious as well mum and I shared their mango soft serve with all the different toppings and we got their gluten-free winter waffle it was just such a nice thing to do on a Saturday and if you want to check it out go head over to my gluten-free Instagram account I'm trying to think what it uh, <laughs> oh my god my words 
I'm trying to think what else is happening this week. Tomorrow after school, I have an appointment. Wednesday after school, I think I have to finish school early because I also have an appointment. I'm just going in with the Mecca Cream Blush. I literally am almost out of this. I need to buy a new one ASAP. I've just loved it so much and I've used it basically every single day since I've bought it. But yeah, I have something on Wednesday and then Thursday we get the day off school because we have interviews for going into VCE that we have to go to with our parents. So we get the day off and then we only have to go on the time of our interview. So it's a bit, it's busy era of life that we're in. And then Friday should be pretty chill, just school. See how just like a bit of tinted eyebrow gel and some blush makes a world of a difference. So nice. Five hours later, that is hair done. I'm just gonna go over the ends with my straightener a little bit. I feel like I don't have to, but I just don't want my hair to look frizzy. Mind you, if it starts raining, it's gonna look that way anyway. So hairstyle inspo, if you're looking for hairstyle inspo for school, but it's now like 7.30 a.m. So I need to get a move on, finish putting my uniform on, get breakfast done, and then head out the door to go to school. Monday mornings are always so chaotic. I don't know why, but for some reason I forget how to do everything. I just can't get over how cute my hair looks today. I love it. Forty-five p.m. now. I've come home from school. I ended up having a really good day. At school today I had English, safe driver ed, health and human development and then math in the morning. I actually got a couple questions right in math for once. That never happens for me so honestly pretty proud of myself. But I've come home and gotten changed into my dance gear because tonight I have ballet and jazz. Obviously it's a Monday night. It's my hectic Monday nights. I have dance all night. I've just got my dance bag down there with my drink bottle my phone, my lip balm, my ballet shoes, and that's about it. But for the rest of this afternoon, the plan is for the next hour until I need to make an early dinner before I head to dance is to edit a couple reels that I filmed on the weekend. I recently made like a gluten-free Instagram account and I want to share a couple recipes with you guys. My mom got me a new tripod on the weekend and I've had so much fun experimenting with it. It's one of those things that you would really only find entertaining if you are a content creator or you're into photography so I'm not going to bore you with the details but it essentially like extends out and your phone is able to show a bird's eye view of like what you're doing and it has made my reels so good so if you want to go check them out definitely do. So I want to get that done and then I'm also thinking of importing this footage into iMovie that way I can get a head start in editing my vlog because I always leave it all the way to the end of the week and then I get stressed on a Saturday that I have to have a video up for you guys by Monday and then I tell myself I should have just started editing it on a Monday Although to be fair the last two weeks have been so busy I haven't had time but this week's a bit more chill So I feel like I should take advantage of that and get up to date with a couple of things finished eating my dinner it was really yum I ended up grilling up some chicken in the frying pan added some sweet potato cauliflower cheese I've also just finished laying out my pajamas my toothbrush and my skin cleanser so that way when I come home I can have a shower straight away and head into bed as soon as possible so I know that I'm getting the best sleep for school tomorrow but I'm gonna go head over to dance now and I'll catch you guys tomorrow bright and early for another day of school <laughs>
ready for school. I did a little ponytail in my hair, popped my uniform on, and it's about 7.23 a.m. at the moment, so I'm about to go pack my bag, make some breakfast, and then head out the door. I woke up this morning, did a meditation. I wanted to tell you guys that I've been getting into my meditations lately using the Smiling Mind app. I usually use the Smiling Mind app on my iPad, but I recently downloaded it on my phone. But if you struggle to get into the habit of meditating like me, or you find yourself regularly stressed or overwhelmed, I find this really helpful because you just tick how you're feeling and then it will accommodate a meditation to that feeling. And I just find it amazing. You can develop routines on there. You can put what age group you're in. So I can go teens and it will come up with all the meditations which cater to teens. And the meditations go from being really short to really long. This morning I did an eight minute body scan and it was just the perfect amount of time to set my intention for the day and sort of reset and think a bit more positively if I had woken up in a bit of a rough mood. So if you want a new little habit to add into your morning or night routine, night routines, I feel like this is so beneficial before you go to sleep as well to help wind your body down. But anyway, that is my little recommendation. Go check out the Smiling Mind app. I'll leave it in the link down below if I remember to. But it's really helped me lately. So I hope it can help you add a little bit more positivity into your life. I've also been sitting listening to my positive affirmations this morning while I get ready for school. I found this playlist on Spotify and it's called like morning affirmations and it's all just positive affirmations and I've struggled to find like a good affirmation playlist to listen to in the morning without it being either not anything to do with my goals or very like stoppy and starty and choppy or I don't like the person's voice but this playlist I found which I'll also try to link in the description box or leave somewhere up on the screen is so good because it just puts me in the best mood and even if I'm not repeating the affirmations after the girls saying them they subconsciously go into my head and I'll find myself repeating them throughout the day so that is a really great thing to listen to in the morning. I live off my Steph Pace planner and to-do list during the school week. I genuinely don't know what I would do without it. If you don't write a to-do list already, it's probably so lame to tell you guys to, but I really recommend. Like, I write a to-do list for everything. I even have a little habit tracker that tells me when to post on Instagram. Let's head into a great school day. shower. I usually have a shower after dinner and wash my hair but I decided tonight that I just wanted to get home and jump in the warm shower. I've had the busiest day of school, doctor's appointments and I just thought it was great to get it over and done with. Especially when I wash my hair I feel like it's one of those things you have to do when you're in the mood to do it because otherwise it's just not a fun activity to do. But because I was going to do some yoga after school but I had a shower instead I'm just going to flip it around and do some yoga after dinner which I also think will be a really great way to wind down for the evening and ensure that I get a good sleep. I'm just now going in with some moisturizer. My mum is currently cooking dinner. It smells amazing. I think tonight we've got a roast going on. I think my brother might be coming over for dinner tonight as well and his wife. I could be wrong but they usually come over on a Tuesday night. Tuesdays are always giving self-care. I don't know why. I think it's because the day that I stretch and it's the day that my family comes over it always just feels that way. Wednesday. It is the morning and I've just finished making my breakfast. This looks like the best breakfast to fuel me after I just did a little bit of a workout this morning and got ready for school. After I eat this, I'm going to head out the door and obviously go to school for the day. I just straightened my hair this morning because I washed it last night and I feel like it looks really nice. I'm also hoping my Kmart package comes today. I ordered it on Saturday and it's a Wednesday so fingers crossed it comes. My hair just feels so soft though. I literally am obsessed. But I'm going to go 
go eat my brekkie and then we're gonna go have a really good school day. I just got back from taking my dog for a little walk. It is so nice outside and sunny and I just thought it would be the perfect way to reset after coming home from school. I went to my two appointments that I needed to go to after school so I'm really happy that's done. A little unboxing for you guys though because my Kmart package arrived. I'm so excited about it. I ordered these fabric resistance bands they're just so aesthetic and it makes me want to get into my pilates era which i'm already in but it makes me want to enjoy it even more my next thing i ordered i am probably the most excited about i essentially use my five minute gratitude journal every single day it's from amazon i got it for christmas you guys would know i chat about it in my morning routines my night routines all my vlogs it's honestly one of those habits which improves my daily routine and mindset so much but unfortunately i I filled it because I had used it that much and I've been on the hunt for a new five minute journal everywhere and everywhere they seem to be pretty pricey so I went on Kmart and they had one and it's actually so aesthetic it's lavender like the color of my room so it matches really well and the prompts are the exact same as the five minute journal which I had been using it's got in the morning three things you were grateful for three things that would make that day great a daily affirmation and then at the end of the day it's got a highlight of the day and today's reflection well it's actually got three Three highlights of the day and it's literally seven dollars so if you're on the hunt for a five minute journal definitely go check this out I've noticed they've started selling Kmart things at Target lately which is sort of a bit weird but it does mean that if you can't find this at Kmart they probably have it at Target but they're my two things that I got from Kmart very excited gonna motivate me to do Pilates and gratitude just be a better me overall and then after school I headed into Spec Savers which is the glasses shop I go to to pick up my new glasses because I needed a new prescription and I thought why not get a new pair of glasses because I suck at wearing glasses and if I have a new pair it will motivate me to wear them. I got this sort of like darkish purple lavender color and honestly it's one of those things that you try it on in the shop as I said earlier and they look really good and then I put them on the car and they looked nearly black and I was like I hate these I hate these so it's going to take a little bit to get used to but I definitely feel like it's just a me issue because they do actually look really nice they're a bit darker compared to my other ones but they have a purplish undertone and I really love them as you guys know I love lavender purple with that being said that's sort of like my little haul fresh everything but I'm going to I'm gonna go put this away now and head on with the rest of my night routine. Okay, turns out I'm gonna actually have to send these back because I just tried them on and they're way too big. They just fall down when I go to do a squat. So I'm gonna have to go online and search for some more resistance bands. So let me know if you guys have any good ones which you use. for the day it's about 8 a.m just gone 8 a.m now i've been watching one of my favorite youtubers new vlogs while i get ready because i don't know i'm just in a bit of a weird mood today i'm sort of in one of those moods where i don't want to do anything and everything is annoying me but i have a lot of filming to do so that i don't have to do it on the weekend obviously i mentioned earlier in this vlog that i have the day off school today i have to go there in the afternoon for an interview thing so that's why i put on actual makeup for the first time this week you know when you don't wear makeup for a while and then you put it on and you feel like you know is the biggest difference that's how I feel today I've just put my hair back in a ponytail I'm trying to use less heat on my hair guys but it just doesn't work out for me little side note last night I had 
had these halloumi cubes with my dinner and they were so yum. It's essentially just halloumi but chopped up into little cubes and halloumi is one of my favorite cheeses. So if you have a Coles or Woolies near you and you love halloumi, I really recommend these. They're great for like throwing in salads, they're gluten free. So that has been my new little obsession while I put my new thing of soy milk away. I'm getting a lot better at opening up a new soy milk and not letting it sit in the fridge for a month and still use it. Like that's a really bad habit of mine. I'm trying to actually use it within five days. I found the best filming setup right here. So I'm about to go film a video, which one of you guys suggested. It will be up after this vlog, so stay tuned. But I'm very excited and I just need to get the filming done straight away because then I won't have to think about it for the rest of the day. I had an amazing week and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I am all ready to go into a recharge and resetting weekend. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe once again, and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.